Sebastian, you conducted a workshop here at Sebring over the course of the past few days, letting people get their hands on, seeing what it was like to start assembling an airplane. Mm -hmm. What did you find out as far as from the folks who were actually in there doing the work about how they approached the, the project? Well, it was, it was a really good experience. Uh, going into it, we weren't exactly sure being at an outdoor event and, um, you know, here in Florida. Um, we just didn't know how well it would go across with the temperature, the noise levels, and so forth, but we all had a really good time. We had 17 rudders built over the last four days and it really met or exceeded all our expectations. Talk us to the process of building that rudder. What did your participants do? The rudder workshop is really designed to, to provide the first time builder a great hands-on opportunity to learn as much about building and flying an entire airplane. Now obviously the rudder is not an entire airplane, it's a smaller section. And we do that because it is, it's an entire section, yet it's a sm much smaller section specifically for that. So it's over a day and a half, they go through all the steps and procedures of the spar, nose ribs, rear ribs get attached, drilled, riveted together, and then the skins on the outside cover the outside of the area. So it's really the same steps and procedures that building a wing or a much larger section. So a first time builder really is exposed to all the elements of building their own airplane. And uh, so they learn all the, all the steps, procedures, the skills, and a lot of it's a confidence and so forth about that's associated with doing that. What was your ratio of pilots to non-pilots to come in and try to build the rudder of an airplane? Well, we were pleasantly surprised. Usually it's always pilots that come out because, you know, that's that's the, the typical kit builder. Uh, this time, I think we had three or four that were complete non-pilots, yet they knew that's what they wanted to do. So that's gratifying to see these new people entering the industry because it's one of the failures, I think, sometimes of aviation is we don't attract enough new people into the industry. And so this was an exception. So I was happy to see that. How many of them had any kind of sheet metal experience at all? Overall, none. Some uh, working around the house and, you know, had common sense experience, but I don't think any had, had specific sheet metal experience. And, and again, that's fairly typical, and, and those are actually our preferred builders because uh, our experience is that the, the, the less experience you have, the more you will be willing and able to learn. You follow the instructions. Uh, if you know, if you're an AMP mechanic, you may think, well, building a entry-level kit airplane is is going to be easy. And then they're the ones that make the mistakes because they're not following the instructions sometimes. Now, it was the rudder piece one of the kits as your airplane come in, in a variety of kits that you, you assemble the kits and then assemble the full airplane. That is correct. You know, when you're building an airplane, you're really not building an entire airplane. You're building a component at a time. So a lot of our customers they buy as they build, if you will. Now, the, the piece that they all built this week was the rudder for the 750, but I assume that the 650 airplane, the, the low-wing airplane, has a much similar assembly process. Oh, absolutely, and we built a lot of different rudders here. I think seven were the Stoll airplanes. I think we had four or five of the 650, and then the remainder, I think, in the cruiser airplane. So the different models were built here. Very similar, and, and uh, for the untrained eye, you probably wouldn't even barely tell the difference. So. Now, I understand you've got some good demo rides in this week as well. How was the show for you? Oh, overall, really good. We didn't really know what to expect coming in, going into this show. But Wednesday morning, the first day of the show, we had a really good turnout right from the beginning, and it kept strong throughout the week. We were able to do a lot of demo flights, not only the showgoers, but all the participants of the workshop were also able to go up for a demo flight in the airplane so that they could see you know, the rudder that they're building the airplane for, actually see it in flight. So Masako, this was probably your first experience doing anything like this. What was the experience like to build this rudder? Yes, it was my first time ever to do anything to do with metal. So when I saw the pieces of metal at the beginning of the workshop, I was not sure what to expect, but it turned out to be great. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about how much instruction they gave you for going to make this finished product. So we have the manuals with all instruction with pictures and everything. So we were able to um, follow the, the manual pretty well. But there are parts that are a little complicated or since I have never done any of that, I didn't know how to use some of those tools. But then the guys were there to help. They were so great. They were very helpful. They did not do it for me. They just showed what to do and then I was able to learn so that was great. Okay. And what was it like pulling rivets? I didn't realize how easy it was to be honest. Mm -hmm. I thought it's a hard power tool but it made it really easy. In fact I had some people walking by telling me how hard it used to be so 
the power tools are great. <laughs> well, it looks like you're pretty proud of your finished product. Are you going to build the rest of the airplane to hang it on? That would be nice. That would be nice. I would really like that idea one of those days. Great. Well, Masako, congratulations. It's a Thank very you. nice looking, uh, very nice, and, and I would be proud to have it on my airplane. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Aero TV is brought to you by... There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft.